SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen, all right? If you haven't signed up, then you missed out, but you're still gonna be participating nonetheless. And these standards are not only what we're gonna apply for the competition, all right, but it's actually something we're gonna try and apply for the rest of our lives. And these are kind of the standards that we're looking for when we do this in class. So consider those things, particularly as you're doing this, not only for points for your team, but for points for yourself to become the best version of that. All right, always striving, always prospering. Now, enough of my uh, kind of stalling here, let's get right to it. We've got our first workout today. All right, one part cream, two parts sugar. It's a fun one, all right? It is a two part workout. Part one is going to be an eight minute AMRAP. Part two will have eight minute clock. So total is gonna be a 16 minute working time frame. All right, so at three, two, one, go. The first eight minutes is gonna be dedicated to 15 burpee box jump overs and 15 power cleans. All right, heights of box and weights on bar will have certain sets that are going to apply to a certain point system, okay? So make sure you read the details according to that. Kind of our standards there are going to be a 24 inch box for the gentleman, 20 inch box for the ladies with a 135 pound bar for the gentleman and 95 pound bar for the ladies, all right? You can obviously adjust those, modify those however you need. You just see how that's gonna fit into the point system. All right, but the standards, regardless of what weight or what height or what range of motion you're completing, are the same across the board. So, first and foremost, with regards to the burpee box jump over, all right, we'll begin with a burpee perpendicular to your box. You're gonna have your box set up in the front of your square station. You are going to deliberately use the tape as kind of an identifier to, in fact, ensure that you are perpendicular to that box. So one foot needs to be on either side of the tape. Another way to think about that is just have that tape go right down the middle of your torso, all right? So, just showing you two reps. We'll begin with that burpee. You're gonna hit the deck, chest, belly, thighs. Everything is on the floor. From here, I'm gonna peel myself up, snap myself forward. However you choose to get to the box is your choice. You can step, you do need to make sure that both feet are on the box. You twist and stand out. My apologies, you don't actually have to do that. You can completely clear the box if you like but you are jumping over the box, all right? It's kind of our standard set. Again, another burpee here on the floor. Peel, you jump. You do not need to stand up all the way up on top of the box, okay? Again, taking that back, you do not even have to have both feet land on the box. What you will not allow to do is, woo, skip up to the box, okay? Additionally, if you choose to perform a burpee and step up over the box, that is another option, but that is going to be a matter of a different range of motion affecting your points, okay? So again, with regards to the burpee box jump over, the burpee needs to be perpendicular to the box, all right? You need to have two feet take off if you're doing a jump. You need to land on the other side. If you're choosing to do a step over, you still need to get the rep complete on the other side. You finish 15 of those reps, you'll make your way to your barbell. With regards to the barbell, we are performing power cleans today, so every rep will begin on the ground, all right? We are looking for a full range of motion, so performing that clean, you need to stand with your knees locked, your hips open, and the elbows in front of the bar, breaking that plane. This is the top of rep number one, okay? What we will not allow is basically an incomplete extension. All right, we will also not allow the elbows not tracking in front. They must pull through, okay? So again, a good rep, standing all the way up to the top. A no rep would be kind of coming back down. Just be honest with yourself, all right? We know how to do the movement. We know how to work through it. So consider those things, all right? And those would be the power cleans. You can drop the rep, you can do singles. Again, the weight is up to you. Range of motion, however, is one standard across the board. We do 15 burpee box jump overs, 15 power cleans. As many times as you can in eight minutes. At the eight minute mark, you will then have eight minutes to establish a one rep max, squat clean, power clean, split clean, whatever the hell, but one rep max clean, okay? So, you have the weights on either side. You'll be loading your own plates here, you put them on, any version of the, of the clean is allowed. If we choose to do a squat clean, you need to make sure you still stand all the way up at the top. Again, if you choose to do a power clean, you still need to make sure you stand all the way up at the top. 
Any version of the clean needs to be completed with my knees locked, my hips open, my elbows in front of that bar. It doesn't need to be the best front rack in the world. We just are not going to allow kind of underneath. So that was still probably a good rep, but you understand what I'm saying. So that will be our standards for the clean. Those are the standards for the burpee box jump overs. As far as kind of the point system breakdown, you can just check your score sheet to make sure you know what set of weights you're going to be using. They will all be available for you. If you have any questions prior to the workout, ask a coach. Don't ask your neighbor. Okay. Make sure you know how to do things correctly here, what we're looking for, and ultimately, it's a good time. I'm already dripping in sweat. And it's just the beginning. Make sure you caffeinate. Make sure you create something magical and special for not only yourself, but for your team, baby. All right, SmackDown 2020, big news, big moves, big bees. Let's do it. Good luck.